Hey everyone, this is Seb and this is part 9 of Let's Play Zelda's Adventure for CDI. And we're at the beginning of the game as you might recognize. And why is that? Well, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, fellow YouTuber Ganon Sucks, that's his name, he pointed out some flaws in my Let's Play. Uh, one of which was this screen over here which I said has nothing on it shut up Gorias but as we'll see it does have something will you please die uh, in the manual it does say that there is a boomerang in the game and I said there's nothing here well there is see it yeah it's brown on brown it's not very obvious but uh, yeah, thanks a lot for that, uh, Ganon Sucks, because uh, I didn't really know about this one. I figure I never picked it up, and it gets all the way to the back. A uh, funny thing to note is that uh, Zelda can't really throw a boomerang correctly, since this one doesn't come back. <laughs> I guess Link never taught her that one. Oh well. At least he is good with the bow and arrow. Uh, so anyway, let's just finish up some more things, because Ganon Sucks also pointed out to me that uh, I forgot the lens, and I kind of knew that since when I went to the uh, next dungeon, I, I kind of figured that Sir Basil gave it to me, but I just had that all wrong, because it's not Sir Basil, it's someone else. Uh, but we can also finish up in the town of... Wimbage with the lump of coal we have obtained. So, you know what? I'm gonna cut there and I'll see you guys in Little Wimbage. So, see you there. Alright, back here in the magic shop, I've gathered some rupees on the way here. So, now that we have 150, uh, let's just buy that little spell there if you can get to the rupee. <laughs> it's quite big, the inventory. There we go, 150. Oh, wise choice for setting out. Oh, come and see me again. Yeah, not that I'm ever going to use it, but you know. Now we have it. Hi there. Bye there. And now we have only six rupees, so whatever will we do? Well, there was great wealth in that uh, little lump of coal here, so uh, let's see what the blacksmith can do with it. Our optimistic buddy here. Who goes there? Oh, it's a young girl. Don't touch anything. People steal me blind. I know you all hate me. What did I ever do to any of you? I give an honest bargain. I grind your coal into rubies. I stay open late and work my fingers to the bone. Do any of you appreciate it? No. Yeah, yeah. Here. Congratulations on finding such a fine piece of coal. After Wimbish passes my commission, of course, <coughs> that leaves, um... A diamond, which counts for... A lot of money. A lot. Uh, 999 to be exact. There we go. So, uh, yeah, if you ever have money problem, get that call and uh, <laughs> you're done. Uh... The diamond itself doesn't do anything as far as I know. Anyway, just for completeness sake, let's uh, buy a scandal. Uh, yeah, you might think that it's infinite money, but no, you, you still uh, pay money. And once you're out, you're out. The diamond doesn't do anything after that. So it's just a one-time charge of 999 rupees. It's kind of neat uh, if you get it early on, otherwise it's kind of useless. And let's just get the live water there, uh, now we're here anyway. And let's move on, let's get that lens, which of course is on the uh, pretty much the other side of the whole overall map. From the dungeon in which you actually need to use it. So, uh, yeah. But thanks a lot uh, to fellow YouTuber Ganon sucks because uh, I might have made a fool out of myself by going into the dungeon and then figuring it out and uh, this saves a lot of time. <laughs> Ow, he actually hit me. Uh, actually I'm not gonna bother fighting stuff, I'm just gonna run for it and go grab that lance. And then we need to 
get back to that dungeon all the way across land again which I will uh, shorten, speed up, cut out or whatever uh, something else that Ganon Sucks uh, noticed was that I said the poison it's not actually poison, it is repellent uh, it's also something that's in the manual and it's supposed to repel the Swamp Zolas now, the problem being that I have no idea what the Swamp Zolas are. I'm not sure which enemy it is, so I never test it, not sure if it works, but yeah. <laughs> the poison, it's not poison, it's uh, repellent, and it's supposed to uh, get rid of the Swamp Zola, which, uh, you know, the only things that kind of come close to it are the guys, and they died in one hit in the swamp, so... Kind of useless item still, I guess, but uh, yeah, the next dungeon we'll find much more useless items. Anyway, onto a useful item, at least for the next uh, dungeon. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore you guys. Since we need the lens for some jousting action, which is found over here. Not everyone here is so ill of temper. Take this as a token of welcome. And there it is, our lens. Uh, anyway, now we're here. A few screens from here is a next Exa heart piece. So let's just grab that one too. And there's another goblin in here. Can't you see I'm a busy goblin? What you seek is far away to the east. Be gone! And I guess he's right, because uh, <laughs> the dungeon is all the way to the east. Well, southeast, I guess. I love his, uh, his, his sound uh, of his voice, what he did there. It's just, it sounds kind of odd. Anyway, there's the heart piece. It's kind of hard to see there, but uh, it's down there, as you can see behind the tree. Come on, Zelda, get around that rock. And uh, yeah, here is the tricky part, well, ah, no, I showed it still. You see, um, it looks as though you can walk to the left, and you can, but for some reason he doesn't. However, if you walk through the water, it is possible. Now, how would you figure that out? You really need to fiddle there, and it's quite annoying. Anyway, we go around here and find our heart piece sweet so now that we are uh, ready let's just head over to the uh, dungeon <laughs> where we left off last time and the fastest way to do that is to take the shortcut and die and you know what guys I will see you at the dungeon uh, you know, this is a false way to warp to the uh, beginning of the game and then the shortcut. Just die. You could also save and quit and then load the game. But, uh, you know, this is uh, faster, I think. Anyway, after wasting 10 minutes of that, let's just quickly go to the dungeon and be done with it.
All right, finally. We are where we left off last time. The Shrine of Strength. Okay, let's go in. This one is awesome. Physical strength is the next test for you, Zelda. Prepare for the dangerous series of contests just ahead. And with awesome, I mean, uh, kind of weird since, hey, what's this? It's a shop. Come over here, princess. I have things of beauty to please your eye. The red ribbon costs 50 rubies, but it has a history beyond price. Come again. You deserve many objects of beauty. Yeah, most of this stuff is pretty much useless, but, uh, you know, we're... Uh... We, we're rolling in dough right now, so we can uh, spend some. Let's buy some flowers here. And then the ribbon. And the flask of something. I don't know. Yeah. This dungeon is weird in that it's kind of like a town. And I mean, it has shops, it has contests, it has NPCs. And it's kind of awesome like that. I really like the concept of, uh, or the idea of that. And it has puzzles. See, one moving block. <laughs> and we got the map. Awesome. But yeah, it's uh, it's kind of interesting idea for a dungeon. Make it a town and... Huh, he closed shop really quickly. Well, we did buy him out. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I really like the idea of this... Uh, dungeon uh let's uh, have a talk here hello young one you Hi look there. like a friendly face it's been many a year since i sat down with a young woman like you to talk over my troubles my children have all moved on to other areas of hyrule and i don't get to see them very much at all did you know that morgan has been seeing the maid vanity i don't uh, think it's at all suitable am i boring you no yeah matter. you look like you don't have much to do thanks it's certainly odd weather we've been having don't you think my, this water jug is becoming heavy. I wish my husband had installed running water in our house, but it was just too expensive. You know how things are these days. No. I guess I better be moving on. Have a good day and watch out for the tech sites. ta -ra. Thanks. <laughs> Weird. So that was uh, one task. And uh, as you could see, the thief... That little bastard stole some rupees from us, but uh, you know, we've got plenty, so who cares. And we got the compass, so let's check this map out. Clearly the maps do get more complicated as we go along, don't they? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we had a talk, and let's see what this guy has to say. It's wise of you to halt a spell with me, young one. I know a little of what lies concealed in the realm of combat. You must gain skill in every weapon before meeting the mighty Ursor. Ursor is the uh, boss of this dungeon, and uh, yeah, we do need to use a lot of different weapons in this dungeon. A foe has entered my realm. And there's Ursor, uh, not the best uh, with speech, as you could uh, hear. And there was another thief, and uh, you can't do anything with them. Please, miss, I'm so thirsty. Would you draw me some water? Seriously? You're right next to the well. Oh, well, that's just a walk in front of You it. have a kind heart. My guardians rewarded you with a gold necklace to increase your magic defense. May you use it well. And that's another test of this dungeon. Uh, yeah, see the big draw? Uh, uh, what's the word? Mm, uh, drawback of this dungeon. It's uh, it has good ideas like little tests and contests, which we'll get to. But it can't execute it as well since the limitation of the CDI. Too bad. Welcome, Zelda. I've been waiting for you for many suns. I am here to help you learn the skills of the archer. You must learn to judge the flight of your arrow the way a hawk controls his dive. Study the pace of the bears before you let fly your arrow. Whatever. Shoot the bastards. That's all I need to know. Uh, and I managed to miss. 
Uh, if you're out of rupees, then this place can also net you some uh, more rupees. As you can see, we're back at 800. Pretty nice. Uh, I'm not sure this gives you anything, but if you hit that one, then uh, <laughs> stuff happens. Ow. If you uh, slash that with your sword, you're pretty much screwed and you will need to die, and uh, it's not nice. It's a horrible, horrible death in there, but oh well. And we find the club, another item we will probably never use. Maybe it's kind of time to show off some of the weapons uh, that we got it throughout the... Ah, here's the spell we just picked up from the fire, uh, from the magic shop. Uh, this one is kind of nice since it has the ability to hit enemies three times, so uh, it does weak damage. But whatever. Why is... Hmm. My PC is kind of slowing down here. I hope this has no impact on the recording. If so, then sorry guys. Hello there, little one! Step up and buy a ticket to the jousting field, where the bravest and strongest knights in Talamak test their skills! Who knows, beautiful, you may get a chance yourself! Yeah, ticket to the jousting uh, tournament, that's awesome. <laughs> Too bad the game can't really execute that as well either. But you know, the idea is there, so that's nice. Uh, oh yeah, the, the, the club. Uh, I don't think anything is really weak to the club, and it's a really slow weapon. But you know, you've seen it. <laughs> uh, another one that we don't use is the axe. I think these, the axe is weak, or the, the octopus enemies are weak uh, against the axe, but don't quote me on that one. Uh, is there something else we will never use? I don't know. Uh, will we use this one? I don't think so. Kinda looks sweet. Actually, I do think we will use that one later on. Uh, oh, well, let's just uh, move on and break out the rupees again. All the way at the end. To buy us a ticket to the jousting tournament. Just a second guys, need to see what my computer is doing because it's really crapping out. Alright, sorry guys, I had to uh, shut off some processes which were running in the background. <laughs> Great those timed virus scanners. Oh well, we're running again. Uh, yeah, this is the jousting tournament. Again, it's a really awesome idea that they uh, put in like a town dungeon. Dare you ride in the joust against the Red Knight? You are so young! But take up the lance if you will. And the joust just means that you will have to pull out the lance and kill one enemy with it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of pathetic, but you know, the idea is there. They had great, great concept plans, uh, just couldn't execute it very well because uh, CI sucks for Hold these kind tight, of games. Little enemy. You have something stolen from me, and I am strong. I believe what's stolen uh, from him is the red ribbon. If you don't have the red ribbon, then you cannot fight him for some reason. So, I don't have anything that's stolen from your buddy. It's the, it's that store owner who stole it. And these guys are the... Um, oh, crap, I forgot the name again. Um... Dark Nuts. There we go. Man, I'm so terrible with names. Sorry, guys. But uh, Dark Nuts. Right? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so, what was that about? Although, you can hit these from all sides, so uh, that's not really Dark Nut uh, like. I hope I get that name right because. <laughs> Also, uh, someone called me out on the uh, uh, Zola name, because uh, they should be Zora. And technically speaking, he's correct. Ooh, the puzzles in this dungeon. I wonder what we should do here. Uh, because the Zolas, which I'm referring to, was a kind of mistranslation in the original Zelda. 
Uh, nowadays they are known as River Zoras. Yeah. If you're stuck in there, that uh, it's, it's not much of a problem because you can just slash the pole again and then you can get out. But yeah, River Z Zoras. But yeah, I'm used to Zola, so I'm gonna say Zola's deal with it, and uh... <laughs> oh, more of these guys. I'm just used to it. And these guys make a flop sound kind of thing. I don't know, like something smashing to the floor or something. Kind of sounds really weird. I could use some hearts. Thanks. Finally, the game gives me what I need, because I certainly don't need any more rupees. Got plenty of those. Oh no, this is really gonna tax me on my uh, grey matter here. But you know, they, they tried at least. <laughs> uh, there's uh, uh, someone on the internet uh, who, who posted about the development team, who was part of the development team, who said the guys behind this uh, the game and the company, uh, Veritas, were uh, total idiots. <laughs> Mostly interested in uh, uh, expensive restaurants and expensive suits and such. So uh, you know they kind of were in it for the money. What have we here? A princess wandering the field of honor on her own. Come over here, and I'll sell you a ticket to the field of the broadswords. Watch yourself inside. The swords are heavier than you are. Twenty rubies. Get your ticket here! Just take a step through turnstile to the east and keep your head down. Whoa, that, that, that seller's voice came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh well. Uh, let's buy another ticket for the uh, broadsword tournament. I, I, I'm guessing you will never know what you need to use there. <laughs> uh, can we buy it? Ah, there we go. At least it's cheap. But yeah, the guys uh, behind the company were total douches. Who knew? <laughs> and I figure Philips didn't give them much budget to start with, so uh, yeah, it's kind of a waste. And there's another thief. Screw you, thief. Hey, where's my broadsword? Uh, also remember that these are spells, you know. Zelda's not throwing those uh, things. No, she's casting a broadsword. Weird. A thin waif like thee? Ha! Can you even lift a broadsword? Here you go. Feel my uh, broadsword prowess. <laughs> and they ran out of ideas. One as small as thee put to flight, my brother. This I must test. Well, test this. I'm casting level 3 broadsword on your ass! <laughs> eh, gotta have fun with it, right? Yeah, they ran out of ideas, they figured, you know, we need another knight, so uh, what weapon do we use? You know what? Let's just have two with the broadsword. <laughs> oh well, we're almost at the end, so... Uh, and good timing too, because uh, we're running out of time here. Some fiend has put my blue knight to shame and defeated my green knight. This will be punished. Rah! Let's go, buddy. At least I think he's here. Oh no, we still got stuff to do. Oh well. So, what am I forgetting here? Ah, more of these guys. We can handle these, I hope. Uh, don't want them surrounding me, to be honest. Uh, again, there's probably a weapon where, which does more damage to these guys. Uh, I just don't know the weaknesses. But you know, the wand works wonders. Because it's a wonder wand. Wow, that, that was... <laughs> I apologize for that one. That was, <laughs> that was bad, even for my standards. 
Uh, I figure the boss is behind this door then, uh, which I'm probably not gonna survive because uh, we're kind of low on health. Although this one isn't too hard, it just takes a ton of hits. And it's a giant bear, bear because you know that's. Uh, oh. Okay, so it's the next room then because there was a uh, need for more filler. Mm -hmm. There we go. So we meet at last. You are small and weak. You're no more than a bite for a warrior such as me. Yeah, this guy, however, isn't that uh, fast, so you really have the advantage here. I wonder if I can kill him, um, because, you know, sometimes he does a uh, move which is a bit sudden, and I think one or two more hits and we're out of it, but, you know, he takes a ton of hits, so, uh, ow. Ooh, I got so lucky there. <laughs> Uh, on all courts, I should have been dead there, but oh well, I'm not complaining. So let's get our celestial sign of strength, I guess. Uh, hello? Ah, there we go. And get some more wise word from our buddy Caspra. A shout of triumph in the teeth of the impossible. You are drawing close. Your journey will carry you far to the northwest, where many say there's a rumble in the earth and a glow of fire. And to the northwest we go, to the... Uh seventh celestial sign in the seventh dungeon and those who have been paying attention already know where it is uh, anyway i'm not going to show you all the way back there because uh, see how big this map is now we need to get all the way back to where we just were so just a second and there we are i just saved you guys 10 minutes of more tedious video <laughs> oh you know what this game needs a warp stone or something. Uh, the traveling in this uh, game. And it doesn't help that you uh, have to go all over the place for certain items. Oh well. So uh, if you don't recognize it, ha! Ah, you leavers, you cannot hurt me anymore. I am invincible! Uh, I believe as you gain hearts, you will also gain defense, but uh, it might also be the trinklets that uh, Zelda has been collecting. Anyway, let's go to the final dungeon of the game, at least the uh, seventh, where the seventh celestial sign is, to get our final heart piece as well. And these guys, these hurt. If you go here without uh, any of the extra defense parts, then uh, you're dead. <laughs> I think still now they take off like two and a half hearts, so it's uh, kind of impossible. Anyway, here is the final uh, level of the game. Ah, two hearts. Can you please die? Wow, he's giving me a hard time here. <laughs> he almost destroyed me. <laughs> anyway, here's uh, not the final level. I thought it was here. It's one screen further. Ah, there we go. Kinda looks like uh, Death Mountain, I suppose. Anyway, uh, before you go here, um, prior, then there will be spikes here, so you cannot enter again dungeons. You need to do them in order in this game. And uh, let's go in, and I'll save it there, and then come back next time with full life, because uh, we kind of need that. Your commitment to your quest is tested here with the ruthless Warbane. Only your passion to rescue Link and save Ptolemac will defeat his fiery battles. Yep, it's the Dungeon of Fire, the Fire Shrine. So join me next time guys when we liberate the final celestial sign and our final heart. So until then guys, see ya!